When you indent a paragraph, you move its edge from the left or right margin. And you can indent the entire left or right edge of a paragraph, just the first line, or all lines except for the first line. And you can see here on my ruler the indent markers. And these are on the horizontal ruler. And as you can see, if I hover over the top one, it shows me that this is the first line indent. And that's what we're going to work with a little bit today. So I have our last minute travel deals file pulled up. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place the insertion point in this italicized paragraph that's under the title. And I'm going to use the increase indent button, which is in the paragraph group of the home tab. And if I click that one time, you can see that it indents the whole paragraph. Every single line in that paragraph is indented once. And it's indented to uh, the half inch mark on the ruler. If I press the decrease indent button in the paragraph group, then the left edge of that paragraph moves back to the zero point on the ruler. So it goes back from half an inch back to the zero point. I can also indent by dragging the first line indent marker. So I'm going to do that by dragging just to the about, about a quarter of an inch. And as you can see, when I do that, if you look at my paragraph here, instead of indenting every single line in that paragraph, it only indents the first line because the button that I dragged is my first line indent button. Now, I'm going to scroll down in my page to find a quotation. So you can see here a quote made by a travel writer about the camel safari. And what I would like to do to this quote is I am going to just place my cursor, my insertion point, anywhere inside of the quotation. And I'm going to click Page Layout. And on the Page Layout tab, there is a paragraph group. And you can see that I can see both the spacing and the indents that are there. So for this quote, to make it stand out a little bit more, I'm going to change the left indention to 0.5. And I can use either the up and down arrows to get it to where I want, or I can just type in what I want. And then I'm going to press Enter. So you can see that that moved the whole paragraph to an indent of 0.5 from the left. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. I'm going to type 0.5 in there. And now you can see that this paragraph or the quotation is indented at the half inch mark on both the left and the right size. Now looking back at the first paragraph in my flyer, when we first started this video, I moved that indent marker to make the first line be indented. So to show you another way that you can do that or another place that you can change that, I'm going to simply click back on the Home tab. And in my paragraph group, I'm going to open up the dialog box launcher. And I'm going to change the special drop down under the indentation section of this dialog box launcher to none. It's first line right now because that's the change I made earlier, but now I'm going to change it to none. And when I click OK, the paragraph goes back to normal. So that's a little bit about how you can work with indents. We can also add bullets and numbering. So for example, if I want to look at this list of add-ons, it needs to be a bulleted list, but right now it is not. I can simply select the text that I would like to bullet or number. And in my paragraph group, I'm going to select a numbered list. And if I choose the little drop down arrow, then I get a list of selections. And I'm just going to choose the one with the numbers and the dots for right now. And as you can see, that adds a numbered list instead of just a list with no numbers. And if I perhaps click here and press enter, to add something else to my list, you can see that it automatically creates another number for me. 
and um, it does keep those in the correct order and then I could just type in whatever I needed to type in. So that's how you do a numbered list. If I need to make a change to the format of those numbers, I can simply click on the numbers. As you can see here, I just clicked on the one and that selects all of them. So if I go up here and select bold, that makes my numbers bold for me. And you can do bullets the same way. So, for example, if I select this list, I can choose a bulleted list instead of a numbered list, and that adds bullets instead of numbers.